In this video, I would like to capture an image of Comet C2023A3. Over the last few weeks, there were a lot of images on social media of that comet, and finally the chances are good tonight to capture that comet myself. So I've tried to capture this comet yesterday and the day before, but there were always clouds, so there were no chances for me to capture this object. But tonight, it seems like there are no clouds, so the chances are good to capture this comet tonight myself. First of all, I would like to talk about the equipment I would like to use for tonight. So I would like to use the Canon EOS 2000D for tonight because this is the camera that has the most megapixels, which is important because later on, perhaps I would like to crop the final image and therefore it's very important to have a camera like this. So I would like to use the Canon EOS 2000D and since the comet is quite small, but not too small, I would like to use my lens with a focal length between 75 and 300 millimeters, and I would like to use a focal length between 75 up to 200 millimeters. So I would like to take test images later on in order to decide which focal length I would like to use. I will not use a tracking mount tonight, which means that I need to use a shorter exposure time, so something in range between 2 and 5 seconds, depending on the focal length I'm using later on. Furthermore, I would like to use an ISO value between 800 and 3200 in order to bring out a lot of details in that comet. And furthermore, I would like to use the maximum aperture of this lens in order to collect as much light as possible. So between 75 and 135 millimeters, the maximum aperture is f4. But later on, I would like to capture test images in order to decide which focal length is the best for me. Um, then I would like to capture single images with an exposure time between 2 and 5 seconds. And then I would like to stack these images in Deep Sky Stacker. So I'm planning to capture between 20 and 80 images in order to collect as much light as possible in order to create a great image of that comet. So now we need to wait uh, for a few more hours until it's dark enough. And I really hope that the images will be good and we'll be able to capture some amazing images of this comet tonight. See you tomorrow when we take a closer look at the images I've captured. Last night everything went quite according to plan and I was able to capture images of Comet C2023. Unfortunately, it was very very cloudy last night so I was not able to capture the amount of light frames I have planned to capture. But still in the end I was able to capture 60 light frames of this comet. Each of these light frames has a single exposure time of 6 seconds which results in a total exposure time of 6 minutes. Actually, I have planned to capture even more exposure time, but in the end, the entire night sky was full of clouds. Therefore, I was really, really happy that I was able to capture images of that comet, even if it's not the amount of exposure time I have planned to capture. So as I mentioned, these single light frames have a total exposure time of 6 seconds with a maximum aperture of f4.0 at an ISO value of 3200. So this is the very first image I've captured of a comet, which makes it a very, very special image for me. Feel free to comment down below if you were able to capture an image of this comet. So this is something I'm really, really interested in. Otherwise, I'm really, really happy that I was able to capture an image of that comet. And if this guide in this video was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.